everyone, my name is Anangha and I'm part of the Data Science Discovery team. In this video today, we're going to be doing a question on the Bayes Theorem and passing exams. So let's go ahead and get started. So here it says that extensive data has been collected on student studying habits and scores of a course's first year um, midterm exam, right? It says here basic statistical analysis has shown that 65% of students um, actually like pass the exam right and 59% of students studied for the exam so these are the basic properties that we're given right and it also says here suppose that 80% of the students who passed the exam studied for it right then what is the probability that a student who studied will pass the exam so kind of before we get started the first thing I want to look at is actually the base theorem which we are going to be using here right so states that probability of A given B is the same thing as the probability of B given A times the probability of A um, and then the whole thing divided by the probability of B. So that's the uh, that's basically the theorem that we're going to be using here right and says here that um, 59 or 60 percent of students pass the exam so here we have probability of a pass is going to be uh, 0.65 right and then the probability of study which is a probability of uh, students studying for the exam is going to be 0.59 right and then you can kind of figure out the complements of this using um, you know what is already given so probability of students who don't pass the exam is going to be the 1 minus 0.65, right? So it's going to be basically 0.35. And the probability of students uh, who basically did not study is going to be 1 minus 0 0.4 or 0 0.59, which is going to be 0.41, right? And basically, uh, this, this symbol it represents the knot. So here it says, suppose 80% of students who passed the exam studied for it. So the this statement basically describes that out of the students who passed the exam, 80% of them studied for it, right? So there's definitely some sort of conditional statement involved here, right? But we just want to figure out what uh, what goes where, right? So here it says 80% of the students who passed the exam studied for it. So given that these students passed the exam, out of the 80 students who passed the exam, 80% of them studied for it, right? So the probability that uh, of study given pass, right? Because out of the students who passed the exam, we're finding the probability who studied for it, right? So our subset of the population that we're looking at is actually the students who passed the exam, which is why pass goes over here, right? So out of the students who passed the exam, the probability that actually studied for it is going to be 0 0.8. And, and now this, this becomes a lot easier, right? It's probability of pass given study, which is the same thing as probability of study given pass right and I'm, I'm just using using this formula right here so it's probability of study given pass um, times the probability and this is this is basically like a this is B right so probability study given pass times probability of pass divided by uh, basically probability of study right so this is going to be uh, you know kind of looking at our, our at our totals over here as well as this statement here it's just going to be the probability of study given pass it's 0 0.8 right that was given in the description this statement right here times the probability that the students passed well that's 0 0.65 divided by the probability that students studied which is 0 0.59 so if you go ahead and calculate that, 0 0.8 times 0 0.65 divided by 0 0.59, it's going to be around 0 0.88. And it says to round this to the at least four digits. So it's a 0 0.881356. That's more than four, but uh, you know, it's the same thing. So here I'm just going to go ahead and write my answer. So 0 0.881356. Three, five, six, 
and that's correct. So the next question here says that suppose 20% of students who passed the exam did not study for it, right? What is the probability that a student who did not study will pass the exam? So given that the student did not study for it, right, what is the probability that a student who did not study, given a student did not study for it, what is the probability that they actually passed the exam? So that's what we're trying to find here. And let's go ahead and deal with this probability statement right here, right? 20% of students who passed the exam did not study for it. So this means out of the students who passed the exam, that's the subset of the population we're looking at. That's like the given statement, right? Given that these students passed the exam, what is the probability that they did not study for it? Well, that's 20%. So here, given that these students passed the exam, right, the probability that they, um, the probability that they did not study for it, not study, is going to be 0 0.2. So given that they passed the exam, the probability that they did not study for the exam is 0 0.2. And finally, to find this probability, it's going to be the exact same thing as the other question. By probability of pass A given B is going to be the probability of uh, no study given pass times the probability of pass divided by the probability uh, that these students did not study. And I believe we have all of these totals that can help us. So not study given pass, that was this statement right here. That's just going to be 0 0.2 times probability of pass, 0 0.65 divided by probability of not study, uh, that's 0 0.41 here. So 0 0.41. And if you go ahead and solve this, 0.65 divided by 0 0.41, it's going to be 0 0.31707. And that's correct. So here it says, suppose 20% of students uh, the next question, suppose 20% of the students who failed the exam studied for it, right? So let's go ahead and write out the probability statement for this. So suppose 20% of students who failed the exam studied for it. So given that these students failed the exam, so given, given that these students who uh, failed or you know did not pass the exam, the probability that these uh, students who failed the exam studied for it is going to be 0 0.2, right? So the probability of the students, uh, given that the students who did not pass the exam, the probability that they studied for it is 0 0.2. So 20% of the students who failed the exam um, studied for it is just going to be 0 0.2. So kind of hopefully that makes sense. And now it's asking probability of fail given study, right? What is the probability of student who studied for the exam. So given that they studied for the exam, what is the probability that they will fail? So as you can kind of start to pick up the um, conditional statements, you need to be careful about seeing what you are given and what you are trying to find, right? So usually the first part is the given statement, right? 20% of students who failed the exam, that was part of the given statement. What is the probability that a student who studied, that was part of the given statement, right? So you want to make sure what are you given and what are you trying to find. So probability of fail given study is the same thing as probability of study given fail times the probability of fail. And fail is the same thing as, as not pass, same thing as probability of fail. Right, uh, divided by the probability that they studied, which is going to be study given fail or study given not pass. It's going to be 0 0.2 times 0 0.35, right? 0 0.35 divided by the probability that they studied. That's going to be 0 0.59. And if you were to solve for this, going to be 0 0.11864 and that's correct so here uh, the final question which again is this is basically the same as the other ones, right? Suppose that 80% of the students who failed the exam did not study for it. So what is the probability that, so 80% of the students who failed the exam, so given that these students failed the exam, 
right? Given that they failed the exam, the probability that these students who failed the exam did not study is going to be 0.8, right? So 80% of the students who failed the exam, given that they failed the exam, 80% of the students who failed the exam did not study for it. So did not study for it. That's 80%, right? And finally, we want to find the probability of fail given not study, which is going to be the same thing as probability of not study given that they failed times the probability of fail give, uh, divided by the probability that they did not study. And this is going to be 0 0.8 times the probability of fail is 0 0.35 here, right, 0 0.35. And the probability of not study is 0 0.41 here, right, so. And if you were to solve for that, 0 0.8 times 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.41 is 0 0.682926 and that's okay. so uh you know hopefully this video was helpful it's, it's honestly just making sure you have the formula right and that you're basically writing all of the probability statements correctly right make sure you're not you know switching what is given and what we're trying to find right usually the the make sure to see what subset of the population we're dealing with and that's going to be what comes you know in the in the given part of our probability statement right and and just be sure to make use the correct formula so um, if you have any questions about this, right, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.